Caitlin, other than the specific events that we've seen unfold over the last couple of days, in a larger sense, what is it that brought Governor Patterson down, do you think? Well, it's very interesting. Um, Patterson, as you know, his support was declining in the polls. He didn't have a lot of institutional support. People saw him, some critics saw him as sort of feckless and almost kind of hapless, but they didn't suspect any kind of abuse of government power. And I think what happened here and why people reacted so swiftly was the idea that state police may have been used in a way to intimidate a person or to intervene in a case in which they had no jurisdiction. So I think that part was quite shocking, even to people who don't like Patterson. Right. Now, um, there's an investigation that will continue, right, into exactly what the state police did, what the governor's involvement really was. Uh, how will that unfold, unfold, do you think, and how long well, the might fact that, that take? The, they're saying about a month. The fact that Patterson is getting out of the race for governor will have no effect on that, on that investigation. And Cuomo, the attorney general, has promised to look at everything, including whether there's criminal wrongdoing here. And speaking of the attorney general, does he emerge now as the sort of heir apparent? Absolutely. He was already a very popular figure in the party and beyond. Um, people were expecting him to challenge uh, David Patterson. They were expecting him to frankly beat David Patterson. So this propels him mm -hmm. to that position maybe sooner than he would like, but he's clearly the heir apparent for the party. Is there any awkwardness in the fact that he, uh, in a sense, oversees this investigation and then stands to benefit from it? It's extremely awkward. I mean, that was one of the ironies of uh, David Patterson going to Cuomo with this case that was so sensitive and so explosive. He didn't have a lot of choices, frankly, at that point. And I think Patterson thought if he handed it to the attorney general, he could then insulate himself and stop asking, stop answering questions about mm, it. But it didn't work out that way. Apparently not. Carolyn, thanks very much. You're welcome.